offensive coordinator Casey Dunn says it's always been his dream to call plays, and he's calling them very nicely. On his first drive ever as a play caller, L.B. Brown stopped that time by Grant Sawyer. They're physical, and they are making it a nightmare for, for Oklahoma State wide receivers who thought all along they were going to be able to come out here and just be faster and, and more athletic. Well, this is single coverage with no safety help. They go for it on fourth and two, and Juba Hubbard is dunked for a three-yard loss. So right now, Tulsa's defense has so much confidence, they don't respect the passing game of Oklahoma State. There's no threat right now. Tyler Wallace, watch the end of the line. Comes right downhill to make the play. Good course to the football and gets Hubbard in the backfield. I think that's a missed block by Dayton Metcalf, the tight end, number 84. And a great play by Grant Sawyer, who has been almost exclusively a special teams player prior to this season. Junior from Argyle, Texas, had just seven tackles all of last year. But in there in a key spot. What an outstanding defensive performance by the Golden Hurricane. They have totally, what they've done, they've squeezed the offense. They are not threatened vertically by this offense. On to the day. L.D. Brown, or two, here's Matt Berry in the studio. Okay, guys, wild Berry of some fatigue. Just to be so disheartening his defense and played so badly by what they've watched from the offense. They're ready for Hubbard. They dropped in back in the 20 yard line. It's Matt Sawyer again, who's made a couple of big tackles for all of us. Also, he's done a really nice job of pressing the line of scrimmage. When the ball's been handed to Chuba Hubbard, they know we can't let him get going. We can't let him get going north and south on us and get that acceleration. He's done a great job of pressing the line of scrimmage. COVID-19 and it really took a toll on him in the preseason. Walked on at Oklahoma State. Here's Brown again. Does he go to the end zone? He brings up that first down. Back they go to Chuba Hubbard. He has a streak of 100 yard games. One in a row. On the line right now, he's getting close to 100 here with his main push. Picked up the first down with that carry. They're at 12, 100 yard carry. And again, they milk the clock. Although the game clock is not running. He's trying to get lined up properly. Lucky Burr out in trouble behind the line of scrimmage and dumps. Let your guy get Seven tackles all of last year. 18 career tackles in 24 games prior to today, and there's another big tackle for a loss. Take a look at him. And just, again, just getting to the outside and crossing the line of scrimmage, reading the play, getting into the backfield, and making a sure tackle. He's had an outstanding football game. So they do force a field goal challenge. Looking right down the field, like the tempo with Noah Johnson in the game here. Third down and three, and Joyner is absolutely rocked. Oh my goodness, that's his strong suit. Between the tackles, Jason, that's that's where he thrives. Good inside zone runner and really just nothing there. They got him the one-on-one -on -one he wanted and could not make the linebacker, Grant Sawyer, miss. Fourth and oh, nice two. Another primetime football game and coming up after the break as Tulsa gets it back. Backups or not, when a quarterback is carrying it out there like he is, is swinging it around, that's the first thing that Jackson's going to do talk to his quarterback. Noah Johnson about he's swinging it around out there and defenders, they see it, they're taught to go after it. And Tulsa basically just turning away this South Florida team. An opportunity to really get back in the game with a score results in a turnover in Tulsa's ball with time on the clock. That guy got it playing it up. <laughs> Should have stopped the count at seven three. Our line to throw on third and ten. Trying to MacGyver out of trouble. That might be grounded. 
Yes, sir. He was the quarterback was down. Fourth down. I think this is a poor play call. There was no intentional grounding. His quarterback was down. Fourth down. Your, your defense forces a turnover. Come up with a way of creating an explosive play of 20, 25 plus yards downfield. And there's been none of that versus this Tulsa unit tonight. Our line will keep it. And Sawyer with a great tackle in space. Even without Zayvon Collins, these Tulsa linebackers have been terrific. Justin Wright, who wasn't even supposed to start, start this year, yeah. pressed into action when Johansson mm -hmm. Burnett went down before the first game. Sawyer's had some big plays. Ken Niamatololo told us our line did not play under center at all in high school. He'll option it again here. This time he keeps it. And Grant Sawyer blew that play up in the backfield second down. Yeah, our line's going to wish he had that one races. And there's nobody to account for the pitch, man. They've got the second. We can still run the triple option. We can still be in a variety of formations. To your point, Anish, let's just back number seven up, put him in the shotgun where he's most comfortable, but still be a triple option based team. Now they're going to stay with the shotgun. Our line again. Up the middle, turns nothing into something, and it sets up third and ten. And again, against Tulsa, you don't want to be in these. Yeah, that's, that's not a good stat, but what we know about this year is that you can kind of throw everything out and just look at the film. It's going to be a lot of high tests going into the next year. Maybe Sparks was clothesline brought down by 419 Prince Sarah. Two big stops to start this drive off. Rogers has time, has all kinds of time underneath. As he's running back and marks for a short game, Sawyer was right there to bring him down. 